nationwide protests were held by PTI across Pakistan as people took to the streets to demand the release of Imran Khan and to register opposition to proposed constitutional amendments that would deprive citizens of their fundamental rights and undermine judicial independence. Pakistan's legitimate Prime Minister Imran Khan has been in arbitrary detention for 440 days and incommunicado for 15. Eight judges of the Supreme Court of Pakistan have made it clear that amendments to the election laws cannot be given retrospective effect to under the Supreme Court's orders in the reserved seats case. Imran Khan's PTI will remain the largest parliamentary party once the election commission notifies the winning candidates. Pakistan has failed to meet the International Monetary Fund's condition to collect 10 billion rupees from traders under a new scheme in the first quarter of this fiscal year managing to collect only 0.001% of the target. The IMF report confirmed that Pakistan would introduce a mini-budget if it misses the agreed quarterly targets by more than 1%. With the FBR already missing the first quarter target by 90 billion rupees, it is becoming evident that the government will need to implement a mini-budget. Israeli occupation forces claim to have killed Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar in the Gaza Strip. Footage from a drone shows Sinwar with his kefiyah around his neck, a severed arm and hurling an object at the drone in his final act of defiance.